Arabian silence, close for third, my very good friend in Russian red. They're under starters' orders, and they're off. Chic Antique jumped only fairly on the far side. C. Mir Cotton on quick and Red River Boy away smartly on the stand side. Cherry Chap not that far away. Al Freddy is blazing the trail out in the centre and is the overall leader. It's Al Freddy from Hell Voyer and Chic Antique on the far side. Ferryman up there as well in that leading group. Damaskeen over on the far side as well. Just behind them is Mr. Bobbins from Pentagon Rose. D and M is next, followed by C. Mir, then Devil's Dirge, Pink Pumpkin, Cherry Chap. Well back Cotton on quick Red River Boy and Miss Marjorie is last. They're stretched across the track at the two furlong marker. Our Freddy, the leader out in the centre from Seamere on the stand side. Over on the far side, Damaskeen from Hal Voyer, then Pentagon Rose, followed by Mr. Bobbins inside the furlong. And it's Al Freddy in front, Damaskeen on the far side, the challenger. Seamere can't find a great deal more than Chic Antique is all out. Damaskeen on the far side takes a narrow lead from Al Freddy. And Damaskeen going on the win from Al Freddy. Red River Boy flew, might have just got up for third. They're under starters' orders, and they're off. Premier Prince, a fraction slow, drops towards the rear early, and Bold Pillager first away. Him of Harlech, though, going through on the inside to join it in the lead, a couple of lengths away, then Sleepy Mountain restrained on the inside of Full Quiver, and last of all is Premier Prince ridden along. Through the first furlong and a half, Him of Harlech on the inside of Bold Pillager, they're cutting out a good pace. A few lengths further back then is Sleepy Mountain, followed then by Full Quiver, and last of all is Premier Prince, as they begin to climb uphill now, and heading towards the five furlong marker, Him of Harlech on the inside, a half length bold pillager three lengths then to sleepy mountain from full quiver second last and premier prince on the inside last of all about six off the pace running downhill now towards the home turn four and a half furlongs out him of harlick going well in the lead bold pillager half a length away poised on the outside sleepy mountain held up just behind them on the inside of full quiver and two lengths to premier prince still racing ungenerously last of all ridden along into the straight now just over three to race and it's bold pillager moving up on the outside to throw out the challenge to him of harlick Full quiver poised on the outside, coming into it now from Sleepy Mountain, needing a run, then follows Premier Prince. They've got two and a half to go, and it's Bold Pillager getting the lead from him of Harlech. Now full quiver moving up on the outside very stylishly. He has a peep over the shoulder. It's going well, full quiver. Puts his neck in front on the outside. Here's Sleepy Mountain, he's to the outside, coming home well. Up for long to go, full quiver in front, grabbed by Sleepy Mountain on the outside, hands and heels. Sleepy Mountain under his big weight, takes the lead now from full quiver, and Sleepy Mountain and drawing away goes on to win well from full quiver a good gap then of about five or six thanks to premier prince and bold pillager pulling up short in fourth They're under starters orders and they're off. Platinum Dancer just a little flat footed at the start. Fair to Tanya away fairly well. Agri Daggy on the outside began smartly and so too did Moon Cactus. As they race through the first furlong and it's Agri Daggy the leader on the inside of Moon Cactus and further back in the field then is Dar Piro. Working up into a handy position is uh, on the outside Zawa here followed by Platinum Dancer. Moon Cactus third last on the outside now from Fair to Tanya and Native Gar last of all. Five furlongs to race Agri Daggy the leader from on the outside uh, Zawa here inclined to pull our Piro tucked away from Platinum Dancer up very uh, very handy. Not much pace on. Moon Cactus pulling away up out wide followed by Fair Titania and then Native Guile. They are homeward bound now in the black bottle and on the inside it's Agri Daggy just the leader from Zawa here being ridden along now. Platinum Dancer on the outside. Moon Cactus getting closer. Arpiro on the inside from Fair Titania and Native Guile is last of all. They've got two and a half to go. He gets to work on Agri Daggy on the outside. Platinum Dancer and Moon Cactus now striding up into the picture out wide from Arpiro. Inside the two he says go on Moon Moon Cactus ranges up now to tackle Agri Daggy. On the outside, it's Moon Cactus going home. Best of all, grabs the lead from Agri Daggy. On the inside, Arpiro is battling away. Then Native Gull from a long way back. But Moon Cactus is two in front of Arpiro. Out wide, then Native Gull running on well. But in the run to the line, it's Moon Cactus who's going to win the uh, black bottle. Arpiro second, Native Gull third, Fair Titania fourth. 
Further back then is Fearless Native as they sort themselves out. And last of all is Seo Paulo. Through the first furlong and a half, and it's Volcano's Spark dashed up on the outside by Pat Henry to take it up clearly now. From Donatist on the inside, then Seo Paulo just moving past Sam Cocktail and Fearless Native. They start to pack up a bit as they're climbing uphill now. And uh, only about four lengths covers the field. And Donatist on the inside of Volcano Spark being ridden along by Henry. A length and a half to Seo Paulo who's up on the bridle now on the outside of Sam cocktail and fearless native last to the five runners as they're till still turning right-handed now and are racing uphill towards the five furlong marker and it's Donatist on the inside a fractional leader from Volcano Spark hard driven on the outside Seo Paulo going well followed further back by Sam Cocktail and on the inside next is Fearless Native they're running downhill now towards the turn just over a half mile to go Donatist a half length Volcano Spark Seo Paulo called on for an effort now on the outside from Fearless Native and Sam Cocktail switched to the outside on straightening up three and a half to go Donatist on the inside he's drawn the the whip now on Volcano Sparks. Seo Paulo hard ridden, trying hard to get into it now. Then follows Sam Cocktail on the outside from Fearless Native. Just over two to race and Donatus on the inside finding plenty. Uh, wider out then Volcano Spark is still battling away from Seo Paulo and Sam Cocktail's the big danger down the outside. A furlong and a half to go. Donatus still the one to catch. On the outside Sam Cocktail trying hard. Donatus drifting out a little till two in front though. A furlong to go from Volcano Spark. Uh, Sam Cocktail can't go on with his run. Donatus still holding on though. Two in front as they go to the line. And Donatus is going to go on and score from Volcano Spark. Third Sam Cocktail and then Seo Paulo fourth. They're under starters orders and they're off. And on the stand side, Nazar Blue, one of the first away from tight rain and also up there in the early stages is Scribbling. A little wider out then is uh, You Know the Rules, followed then by No Love Lost. On the far side then is Hunza's Choice up there in company with Pinnacle Point. A line of six and You Know the Rules may be a fractional leader in the centre from Pinnacle Point and Hunza's Choice over on the far side. On the near side is uh, Scribbling right up there in company with Nazar Blue. Tight rain just off the pace from Brad Moore's Classic and further back as always Alex running down to the halfway point now and it's on the near side scribbling a fractional leader pinnacle point out in the center is vying for the lead with it followed then by Nazar Blue then you know the rules tight rain on the near side rail further back is Hunza's choice and then uh, over on the far side as always Alex coming up inside the two furlong marker now and he goes for home on pinnacle point dashes three in front in a stride scribbling on the near side battling away with tight rain Nazar Blue then follows always Alex pinnacle Nickel Point just getting tired in front. Always Alex flying on the near side, picking it up now. Always Alex takes the lead with a half furlong to go. And always Alex going on to score here from Pinnacle Point. Getting up for third on the near side. Brit Brad Moore's classic just ahead of You Know the Rules. They're under starters' orders and they're off. Away to a level break too. Uh, Fascinate began fairly well on the outside, but uh, first to break the line is Take Heart, taking up the early running. From Seamrog on the inside, Fascinate lying third in the early stages. Angel Bright ridden along to hold fourth. Followed then by Lust of Love, then Carol Queen in a couple of lengths to gang a camp. Last of all, about eight lengths off the pace. Racing towards the five furlong marker, Take Heart uh, kicks away, three or four lengths clear now. Of Seamrog in second, a half length Fascinate the outside, followed then by Angel Bright tucked away. Then Lust of Love from Carol Queen and three lengths to Ganga Camp as they start to run downhill towards the turn. Take Heart a good five lengths in front of Fascinate moving into second on the outside of Seamrog hard ridden then Lust of Love striding up out wide. Angel Bright on the inside a couple of lengths then to Carol Queen ridden along and last of all Ganga Camp. They're homeward bound now. They've got two and a half to go and uh, the uh, leader in the centre Take Heart coming back to them now. Tackled by Lust of Love. Fascinate there in the centre. Angel Bright on the inside getting through. Two to go. Lust of Love sweeps into the lead from Angel Bright, then Take Heart. Fascinate switched out, but not finding anything from Coral Queen. Just over a furlong to go. Lust of Love and Angel Bright fighting it out. Take Heart got checked and had to go around them. Inside the furlong, though, and it's Lust of Love on the outside from Angel Bright. They settle down to fight it out, and now Take Heart getting a second win, flying down the outside. Angel Bright takes the lead. I should say uh, Take Heart takes the lead, and Take Heart goes on to win from Lust of Love. Angel Bright third.
They're under starter's orders, and they're off. Well, they'll come six this time for the Sport on Two Stakes. Pretty quick away was uh, Young Inca, but he's dropped back as they set off now down the hill with uh, Madraco showing good early speed on his own on the stand side. Also racing alone is Opteria, the main group, headed by Plain Fact and Poil George. And on the far side, Thornfield Boy, close behind these, Maznan and Stotius. After a couple of lengths comes Young Inca as they race down now towards the end of the second and uh, two and a half furlongs they've gone with Plain Fact, Poil George, George Thornfield Boy on the far rails, he's followed by Rutherfield Grays, and then in five comes Stosha, six Maznan, and then close behind these Young Inca, CNC, Coppermill Lad's got a bit to do. After these Divine Pet and Madraco still racing on his own, they've got two and a half to run. Poil George and Thornfield Boy, the two leaders from Plain Fact. After these Maznan coming on the scene on the far side is Rutherfield Grays, they've got a furlong and a half to go. Rutherfield Grays comes now to challenge. So too does Maznan on the stand side and Madraco as well. They go now to the final half furlong and Maznan and Thornfield Boy, the two leaders going for the line now, Maznan has the advantage, Madraco and Thornfield Boy and Rutherfield Grays close home Maznan, Rutherfield Grays finishing fast, Madraco and Thornfield Boy They're under starter's orders and they're off well, they'll come a mile this time. Straight away, Samoan is the first to go on. So they settle down after 100 yards. Samoan setting a strong gallop. He's towards the inside rail, only a half length behind him. And in fact, upsides with him, if not just in front. Great commotion settles down ahead of Samoan. Point House, half a length behind on the outside, comes next. And then after these, Reprimand and Distant Relative as they race up now towards the end of the second furlong with great commotion setting a really strong gallop here, just a length in front of Point House in second. Samoan's in third. Reprimand in four on the outside of Distant Relative as they come past the five furlong marker and begin the run downhill. Great commotion continues to take them along. He's been in front all by the first hundred yards. Great commotion from Point house one off the rails Samoan tucked in behind these on the rails reprimand beginning to take closer order on the outside and well in touch but nevertheless last is distant relative they're past halfway and they straighten for home now great commotion with the advantage about a half length one off the rails point house reprimand on the outside distant relative being switched for his run Samoan tucked in behind the leaders on the inside rail as they come now to the final two furlongs with great commotion still going easily in the lead point house beginning to come under pressure now distant relative moves up pretty sweetly towards the centre of the track together with reprimand as they come down now to the final furlong and a half and distant relative on the stand side great commotion on the far side but distant relative takes it up as they go to the furlong from great commotion on the far side in third is reprimand and racing for the line distant relative he puts three lengths between him and his rivals going for home now distant relative from great commotion with reprimand and Samoan for third and four They're under starter's orders, and they're off. Well, Hot Girl dwelt as the stalls opened and has lost eight lengths. In the meanwhile, uh, Amber Locke settles down two lengths clear of Moi Chido on the outside of Perk. And then it's a six-length gap to Hot Girl. So they go a pretty steady gallop as they come through the first furlong and a half with Amber Locke, two lengths clear of Moi Chido in second, a length back to Perk in third, and then a five-length gap to Hot Girl in four. Steadily uphill towards the end of the second furlong, and Amber Locke continues to take them along. About three lengths clear now of Moi Chido in second, a gap of a length then to Perk in third, and a decreasing gap to Hot Girl, who's fourth and last. So they race now towards the halfway point of the contest, and still in front, Amber Locke, by about four lengths almost from in second place, Moi Chido. A three-length gap to Perk, who's third, and Perk almost joined now by Hot Girl, who lost the ground early on. Coming down now towards the halfway point of the contest, and the field pretty strung out. Amber Locke, about five clear now, Moi Chido in second, a four-length gap back to Perk in third, and Hot Girl has dropped away again and is five lengths behind in last. Downhill now towards the... Uh, 0.5 furlongs or four and a half furlongs from home and Amber Locke who's been in front throughout really quickening up down the hill Amber Locke from uh, Moichi Do about three behind in second place then comes Perk beginning a forward move in third and after these hot girl they've three and a half furlongs to run now and still Amber Locke galloping on pretty strongly Moichi Do in second Perk trying to get on turns in third hot girl is in four as they come inside the final two and a half furlongs of the Richmond Brissac Trophy with Amber Locke having made all 
all and still too clear of Moi Chido in second. Perk coming up the centre of the track, getting ever closer. Hot Girl is way behind in fourth as they come now to the final furlong and a half. And it's Amber Lock having the advantage still. Four lengths at least, Perk has gone second, Moi Chido's in third. They come inside the final furlong. Amber Lock on the far side, Perk on the stand side. But Amber Lock's way clear as they go for the line. Amber Lock's made every yard here. Close home, Amber Lock is the leader from Perk and Moi Chido to pass the post in third. They're under starters' orders and they're off. Well, Martin Oski dwelt for half a stride as the stalls open. Meanwhile, after 50 yards or so, Gold Minery jumps out and sets off to make the running. Gold Minery from Briary Fee, one off the inside. Sparky Lad Wide is in third. Close behind these come Domus and Cape Pigeon. Southern Sky on the outside of this one, and then Martin Oski as they race up the hill towards the turn for home. They've gone the better part of two furlongs, and Gold Minery's leads by nearly two lengths. From Briary Fee on the inside of Sparky Lad, a length behind these come Domus on on the inside of Cape Pigeon, Southern Sky length behind six, Martinoski seven. Down now towards the turn into the straight. They've got about a half mile to go from this point, and still Gold Minories, who's been in front throughout, coming towards the centre of the track. Gold Minories from Briary Fee. Martinoski starts to run on the inside just behind Domus. Sparky Lad just wide of these, trying to get on terms. Then come Cape Pigeon and Southern Sky, who's wide. Coming now to the final turn, a half furlongs, and Gold Minories still the leader. Briary Fee only a half length behind. Martinoski going nicely on the far rails and getting a nice break. Cape Pigeon and Southern Sky in the centre of the track. They're all in contention. As they come now to the final furlong and a half with Cape Pigeon. Southern Sky on the stand side. Briary Fee on the far side, but it's Cape Pigeon on the stand side from Southern Sky. Briary Fee's in third. Here comes Domus in four and racing for home. Southern Sky wearing down Cape Pigeon and going for home. Southern Sky, Southern Sky from Cape Pigeon. Briary Fee and Domus for four. They're, all in. they're under starters' orders, and they're off. Well, Knight broke very fast, and this is the early leader from Dalston. They've gone 100 yards. Knight leads by a length from Dalston. Darwy on the far side, and Ascending Dream dispute third. Musical Flash a half length behind, and Amber Lightning six and last. Downhill now towards the point, three and a half furlongs from home, and Knight takes them along at a pretty smart pace from Dalston in the centre. Darwy on the far side, a close third. Ascending Dream on the stand side four. Musical Flash and Amber Lightning come next. The field pretty closely grouped as they come through the halfway point. They've got two and a half to run. And Knight continues in the lead from Darwin on the far side. Ascending Dream taking closer order on the stand side. So too is Musical Flash. After these comes Amber Lightning as they come in well inside the final furlong and a half. And Knight joined and passed by Musical Flash. Darwin's gone second. Knight's third. Amber Lightning four. Dalston five. Well inside the final furlong. It's Darwin who takes it up. They've a hundred yards to go. And it's Darwin with the advantage. Going for home now. Darwin has this one. Darwin from Musical flash and Nout just in front of Dalston. They're under starters' orders and they're off. For the Borzoi Stakes, they'll come seven this time. Aromatic breaks well, so too does the grey gas cube. But on settling down, it's Eurolink the Lad who takes them along. Eurolink the Lad towards the inside. This one being tracked by Aromatic. Gas cube pulling strongly is in third. This followed by Intrepid Lass. And on the inside of those noble patriarchs, slightly wide, Ibn Cena, And then comes Shiver Mitchell. So they start the first turn at the far end of the track. And uh, still the runners being taken along by Eurolink the lad who runs a little wide on that and there's a faller intrepid lass has slipped and fallen on the flat it looks as if she's all right. Eurolink, the lad, leads by length from Gas Cube as they come downhill now towards a turn into the straight. A close third on the inside, Aromatic. Ibn Cena, fourth, slightly wide. Noble Patriarch comes next and then Sheva Mitchell. So well into the uh, straight now and then past halfway, they've got just over three to go. And Gas Cube, one off the rails, comes up to join Eurolink, the lad. Aromatic getting daylight there between the pair. If he's good enough, then comes Ibn Cena wide. Sheva Mitchell coming with a late run and then Noble Patriarch. They come now to the final two furlongs and still towards the far side, Eurolink the lad. He's being challenged by Gas Cube and Ibn Cena wide of these. Then comes Aromatic going now for the final furlong. Little to choose between Aromatic who's just getting the better of this one. Aromatic from Ibn Cena on the stand side. Eurolink the lad's third on the far side and going for home now. It's Pat Ellery and Aromatic going for the line. It's Aromatic clear from Ibn Cena, Eurolink the lad and in fourth, Noble Patriarch.
They're on the starter's orders and they're running. This is the Brahetti Handicap. They're racing over one mile six and 175 yards. The sponsors of this race are J. Brahenny Contractors Limited. Our thanks to them for that. And uh, the early part of the race uh, slightly obscured, but the leaders uh, have been a furlong or two and they feel very tightly grouped at this early stage. Mike Chiara well there, together with Jinga, also not too far away, uh, uh, is uh, Springs Welcome, that one in the yellow. Racing mid-division just behind the leaders is Holy Zeal. Still uh, quite a modest early pace and still the field very tightly grouped. About four lengths or so would cover the seven runners. Jinga possibly just in front. My Chiara well there. Holy Zeal still third or fourth just behind the leaders. Towards the rear at this stage is Daily Sport soon but little to choose between him and the first horse. No more than four or five lengths and still no great pace and Jinga continues to make it. Jinga from uh, in second place now, Holy Zeal, then Mike Chiara on the inside. Springs Welcome just behind the leaders towards the outside. Behind those, Regal Reform, and then Ch Chelsea Girl, and finally Daily Sport soon. They're about to turn into the straight. They've got about seven and a half furlongs to run. Jinga is the leader, but only narrowly. Jinga on the stand side just leads from Holy Zeal. Prominent racing wide of those is Springs Welcome, and they've got about six and a half to run. Jinga leading then on the stand side, being pressed by Holy Zeal and Spring Welcome. Fourth on the inside is Mike Chiara. Chelsea Girl makes ground to dispute fourth place. And then Regal Reform is next, followed by Daily Sports soon. And the field still very tightly grouped, and Jinga being joined by Holy Zeal and Springs Welcome. Nothing between those three, and they've got less than five to run. Jinga stands high, being headed only just by Holy Zeal. Springs Welcome still disputes the first two, three places with those. Then Chelsea Girl and Regal Reform passing the four. Springs Welcome is well there, together with Jinga and Holy Zeal. Just behind those is Regal Reform, and we go back to the grandstand. So they run now towards the final three. Jinka right against the rails, and also Regal Reform making ground towards the far side of Springs Welcome. And just beginning to lose his place now is Holy Zeal. But they've got about two and a half furlongs or so still to go. And and Chelsea Girl also unleashed a run and joins Regal Reform on the far side. So passing the two marker, Chelsea Girl now takes it up from Jinker on the near side. Regal Reform under pressure on the far side. Then comes Daily Sports soon trying to make a run on the outside. They race up towards the final furlong. It's Chelsea Girl and Darren Biggs in the lead by some two or three lengths, being followed by Jinker. Then comes Regal Reform, Daily Sports soon and Mike Chiara, but they're well inside the final furlong. And it's Chelsea Girl staying on strongly, going well clear by some six or eight lengths of Jinker, and then comes Regal Reform. They're under starter's orders, they're off. 27 furlongs, and as they settle down through the first furlong, on the far side, that's the, well, the stand side, that is the far side from me. On the stand side, star co cover is well there, without being being tracked by Roca Royale. Calvan Miss showing good speed down the center. That one is racing with City to City. That one also showing good speed in the center. Just behind those, we have Trafalgar's Bookshop. Not too far away, just behind the leaders is Hidden Beauty. That one uh, followed by Hazim. They've got four and a half to run. The pace is a good one. Calvan Miss is well there, together with City to City. Toe Stars Lady just in behind them. Not too far away, Red Indian. Goth's Desire prominent towards the wide outside. Those are the leaders, uh, or amongst the leaders, and back to the grandstand. They come now up right past the three furlong from out. Calvan Miss still right there. Star cover right up the forward rank. So too is Hazim. And on the far side, we have on the far, very far off side is Scott's Desire. But they've got about two and a half furlongs to go. Hazim now breaks through on the near side. Gott's Desire right there in the firing line on the far side, but they have a furlong and a half to go. And it's Hazim up the centre. Gott's Desire on the far side. Those two are then being followed by Hidden Beauty. And so they're well inside the final furlong. It's Gott's Desire, the overall leader, as they come well inside the final furlong from Hazim. Then comes Hidden Beauty. They've got about 100 yards still to go. And it's Gott's Desire and Willie Carson in the lead by about some couple of lengths for Hazim. Running on strongly on the near side, Den Song hidden beauty and even tide. And as they run through the first furlong showing good early speed, Denham Green towards the far side, double entendre. Right up on the near side we have uh, Dry Point and also Iron King. Gentle Hero also well up with the pace on the far side. So they come through the first furlong, Denham Green just about in the lead. 
And up the centre we then have Tender Dealer, also well up with the pace, is Double Entendre. And just tracking the leaders on the far side, Gentle Hero. Sam Moore Cotton also showing speed towards the centre. And coming up now, past C3, far on from home marker. And as they do, there's little to choose this stage between Denham Green, and then comes on the far side, Kim Bolton, Katie, and Tender Dealer, who's just about in the lead. So they're running now towards the final two, and as they do, so up the centre is Tender Dealer. Then towards the far side, Denham Green, Kim Bolton, Katie, making a run on the near side is Keish and Willie Carson, who just about takes up the running as they run now towards the final foul on Keish on the far side. But Gentle Hero on Michael Roberts on the far side just about have the advantage. So it's Gentle Hero in the lead from Keish on the near side. Red Rose in also putting in a late determined run. They've got about 100 yards still to go. And it's Gentle Hero quickening up and holding Red Rose on the far side, Keish. And then in th fourth place is Tender Dealer. We're under Salter's orders, they're off. The Access Travel hopeful stakes this race over six furlongs and as they settle down, Access Travel is the first to show up and racing with Lanchester. Another one to break well was Green's Canaletto. Uh, just behind the leaders towards the stand side is Dancing Tribute. They're actually racing down the centre, that's where the stalls were and they're racing down the centre. Access Travel by a length of two from Green's Canaletto and then behind those towards the far side, Roman Pros and then Madraco mid-division. Just behind the leaders about fourth or fifth is Lanchester. Just racing with that one going quite nicely at this stage is dancing tribute towards the rear Aloes and finally Haffa. They're starting to run down into the dip. They've got just over two and a half to run. Access travel by about a length from Green Scanaletto, then Madraco and Splintering. Dancing Tribute making ground down the centre. That one being followed by Aloes and Haffa. Lanchester is now last of the night. They start to meet the rising ground, just over a furlong to run. Green Scanaletto and Access travel. They're lining up behind those, and then Aloes making very good ground down the centre. Green Scanaletto being pressed by Aloes. They're one and two, and they're one inside the final furlong. And it's those two, and Haffa coming from last to very nearly first. He won't get there, but it's going to be close. At the line, it's Aloes and Haffa, and then Green's Canaletto and French Pros. They're under Salter's orders, and they're off. 30 paces, they run through the first furlong, or Alicante. Then comes Marienski, right up on the far side. I see ice and hard to name. And so settling down off the first furlong, hard to name, just to be early leader as they continue through the first furlong or two, being followed by Access Ski, Bankrow up on the far side, Icy Ice on the near side, Marianski, Alicante, then comes Good Skills, Good Skills then followed in the centre by Toucan, and so they run very near to the first three furlongs, and hard to name continues to lead from Icy Ice, then comes Access Ski, just in behind the leading three, then races Bankrow, Marianski on the near side, then comes Alicante, Good Skills, but towards the rear of the field is Hendlesham Harry, so that is the order back to the grandstand. The leaders tightly grouped and they've got three and a half to run. Hard to name is uh, one of the leaders together with Access Ski, Bankroll, Farside not too far away. Marienski going well down the centre. They've got two and a half to run. They're starting to run downhill and still the leaders tightly grouped. Marienski's come through to join them. Hard to name is still well there. Then Access Ski and Bankroll and then Nockfroon goes into fifth just behind the leaders. Good skills also there about sixth and then Alicante after these and then we have adding. They were inside the final furlong now and Marienski has quickly gone too clear. This one appears to have settled it and they've got half a furlong to run. Marienski going too clear from Lockfroon, the strongest finisher, and they're going to be one and two at the line. is Marienski by a length of two from Lockfroon and then close after that between Access Ski and a Bankroll. They're under starters' orders. They're off. The EBF Blue Peter Stakes, a graduation race over six furlongs, and uh, King Cracker broke well together with uh, Yazi. Yazi leads in the early stages. King Cracker is well there, not too far away. Uh, in the centre is Majesty's Room. Yazi, though, as they go through the first furlong or so, that one racing with Royal Passion, who also broke well. Bursley tracks those, a length or two behind them, that one racing with King Cracker. Just behind them, towards the far side, is Peak Dancer, and then after those, Majesty's Room. Behind those, Polystatic, and finally, Altea. They are racing in the centre of the course. They've got uh, three furlongs to run, and uh, Royal Passion and Yazi, who've always been well there, still are. They are disputing the leading two places, and they're two or three clear of King Cracker, who is third, and then Bercy is fourth, full of Her Majesty's Room, and then after these, making some ground, is Altea. 
They're running into the dip. They've got one and a half to run. And Yazi showing just ahead, but being pressed all the time by Royal Passion. These are two to three clear of King Cracker. And then Magnus's room is fourth. And these four are clear of the other four. And they've got half a furlong to go. But only one in it now as they come to the line. Yazi quickens up really well. This one by two or three at the line from Gold Pas Royal Passion. And then Majesty's room.